Hey, what's up guys? This is Gary coming back to you here from the Ramsey Custom Shop. And the purpose of this video today is going to be a couple things. One is I've got a bunch of scraps, just random. I mean, I got stuff everywhere all over the shop. Square tubing, round tubing, angle iron, you name it. Here's a piece of four inch uh, square tubing that I had from a previous project. And we're going to do some plasma cutting right on the, the square tubing itself. And so you see that we've... Uh, uh, if you're going to try to do something like this, you need a way to be able to secure the square tubing to the table because uh, if you just set it on there, it's going to want to move around on you. So fortunately, we had a, a quarter inch sheet of hot rolled steel on there so we could use the square edge of it and the weight of it to clamp and hold it down. So you see that, uh, you know, this really worked uh, perfectly here. And uh, again, this is kind of a Valentine's thing, theme. And what we're trying to do is... Um, build this whole thing out of nothing but scraps, just random things laying around. And uh, so just sketched up some quick little hearts and some uh, script wording here. And the one thing I wanted to point out is, uh, you know, using our true cut CNC four by eight plasma table, they really have an advantage because of the way they have engineered their gantry. Uh, first of all, it's, it's a heavy duty, fully welded gantry and you see the spacing there there's a full nine inches between the bottom of the gantry and the top of the plate so you can adjust your torch inside the mount up and down to be able to cut something higher than just a flat sheet and um so you see we've got uh, the script words getting cut out on our table here and here's a shot of it underneath piercing through And one of the things about this that's different from cutting a sheet is, you know, the sheet is uh, often has water touching the bottom of it. So you get a lot of cooling from that. But by having this uh, elevated up on top of the sheet, there is no water cooling. So you get a lot more smoke and you get, uh, you know, a tremendous amount of heat input into the part. So some of you guys know, you know, uh, one of the things that I do is make and sell these um table kits and here's one that I just recently cut that's going out the door and you know there there you see the off cuts I have a lot of those laying around and they're quarter inch you know they're nice thick stuff and I've always wanted to figure out some way to be able to use those and be able to make something out of them so um, I just thought hey you know let's come up with a stand make this little candle lantern thing so you see here we're just kind of getting a few tig tacks on it and this is not any by any means trying to be anything perfect and you can see the um, the lead in and lead out uh, pierce points that are in each of these pieces again because they're off cuts from the plasma table but I guess they kind of add character if you think about it so just doing some sanding prep grinding you know getting the uh, dross off the back of it and here it, it didn't quite sit on there level just because of the way I you know clamped it up and welded it so just marked off some notches and I uh, kind of had my camera zoomed in a little bit too far, but I was just using a grinder to nip out the uh, edges of that tubing to uh, create some notches so that it would sort of lock down uh, into place over at least one of them and sit stably. And the last thing, uh, you know, I had cut some of this uh, interesting table base for Eco Mouse Design that he came up with, and it was out of quarter inch sheets as well, and had all these like, uh, uh, geometric shapes that came out of it and they're just uh, random patterns and so I just fitted those up on there in just kind of a random way and welded them up to kind of put a top on it and so here you see I'm just using a, a couple of candles to power up the lantern and that'll wrap it up so a scrap metal square tubing plasma cut lantern on the table so if you're interested in learning more about the True Cut CNC 4x8 plasma table and all of its capabilities, check the link in the description for their website so you can see all about it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Come away with me in the night. Come away with me and I will.
If this is your first time watching one of my videos, be sure to check the center of the screen for two playlists that I've created. One that shows the metal art projects and other projects that we've completed, and the other showing educational videos on how to use a CNC plasma table.